The way we build a portfolio is very company specific. So each company is often quite nichey. It has its own, it's, I mean, our ideal business is operating in a microclimate where the business actually makes its own weather. That, that will be our ideal scenario. We are not overly interested in macro beyond the fact that we will look at obvious macro issues and see how it affects businesses we own, but we're not looking to predict macro outcomes. So we're very company focused um, and we don't spend too much time on macro. We have the flexibility to move across the market cap spectrum. So there have been times in the past where we've been very heavily weighted towards large cap and there have been times where we've been very heavily weighted towards mid and small cap. In recent years, the higher growth rates have predominated outside the FTSE 100. Um, in the FTSE 100, the best growth companies are delivering maybe 7% growth, that kind of thing. You know, a company like a Bunzel or, or a Compass Group, um, which is okay in today's world, but you're also asked to pay probably three times the growth rate in PE terms. So you're paying over 20 times earnings for a 7% growth rate, which the way we look at the world doesn't make sense, um, even though they're great businesses. So in recent years, we've been focused much more on mid and small cap, not exclusively, but, but more so, where the growth rates tend to be more dynamic. The main impact on us um, from Brexit was immediately after the referendum, where the mega cap dollar earners all jumped 20 odd percent. Um, to reflect the currency move, and the rest of the market fell through the floor. Um, that provided not a big opportunity. I mentioned CVS Group, they, their shares fell 35%, um, and the business wasn't affected at all, so we were able to buy very well. Similarly with the house builders, they were hit very hard at the time, and we were able to take advantage of that. Um, it, it, now things have settled down market-wise, um, we don't think there's a significant impact. We've obviously screened the universe to make you know, our, our companies to make to, to understand better what the impacts might be, but we're not really exposed, in our view, to any obvious um, issues in relation to Brexit. And none of the companies we're involved in have mentioned any issues around investment decisions and that kind of thing at this stage. Not for our portfolio. Um, I, I do believe that some businesses will, will be challenged by, by those sorts of factors, particularly retail, you know, where, where they buy a lot in dollars um, and they have to pass that on to the consumer. They, they, this very, these higher prices will have to be passed on, which will cause problems. But we're not exposed to that kind of area. Uh, so for our uh, portfolio, I'm, I'm not overly concerned.